do 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 I hope I fixed the mic this time. We will find out in a matter of seconds. <laughs> and if not, I will fix it for the next one. Fix it for the next one. Okay, I think I'm live. Yes, I've pressed the button. I am in fact live. Hello. Just waiting for my chat to update. Oh, I should let everyone know that is a good time to do that as well. All right. God, I love that Ariana Grande song so fucking much. We can be friends right until the moon. Mm. Oh, I can hear myself. Hello, Hope Marie. Hello, everyone. Is the audio better today? Can you hear out of both ears? If not, I will fix it for the next one. <laughs> Um, try my best out here. One man team, one man team, one man team. At everyone, I'm live. All right. Hi, Junkie Sama. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Girly Pop. Hi. All right. I've let everyone know on there, and we're going to let everyone know on Twitter. And then we can begin. Then we can begin. Moonchild said, I hear you loud and clear. Audio is perfect. Did I really fix it? Did I fix it? That will be very impressive to me because I did. I just hit a bunch of buttons. Didn't know what any of them did, but I pressed them. I just pressed a bunch of fucking buttons. We'll see if it fucking works. Can we have girly sesh today? People really enjoyed that. People really enjoyed that. The problem with that is I, I really air out a lot of, you know, things that are going on in my life. And that can really bite me in the ass sometimes. Audio's fine. Oh my God. Thank God. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing so well. I'm very happy to be on here and I'm very happy that the audio works. Thank fuck. Thank fucking Christ. Oh my God. All right. Second live of us being back. I'm very happy to be here. I have a bunch of really random topics for us to get to. We're going to do some random dancing. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Jojo Siwa. I want to talk about Kate Middleton. Can we finally talk about that? Can we finally fucking talk about that? And we're going to talk about Eugenia Cooney. That's another one. And then there's something else after that, but I completely forgot. <laughs> but we'll get to it when we get to it. Hello, Chad. Hello, Mary Murphy. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. You sound a lot better. Does my voice sound a lot better or does the audio sound a lot better? Oh, love. They're long gone. Your first life. There's a lot of first... There's a, a lot of first people um, in the chat today. Hello, I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, the, the Kate Middleton thing is something that I, I, I desperately have wanted to get to. Um, also, just got my nails done today. What do we think? Oh, so overexposed there. What do you think? It's like a little pastel pink. Do we like? 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 Got these done. I got my hair done today. Finally, I don't have my roots anymore. Um, he lifted it so fucking much. <laughs> he lifted it so fucking much. Um, which I, I appreciate him doing that. Cause whenever I go in, he's like, what do you want? And I'm like, just lift it as light as possible. But normally they like, you know, lift it just, just like a blonde. No, I just have white hair, which I'm vibing with it. I'm vibing with it. And then, oh, okay. People are loving it. Love, love, love. Okay. Thank you. And then I also got two new tattoos today. They're on the second skin right now. So they're a little bit bloody. This is, um, a heart steam is popping up i'm good actually babe um i got this which my dad draw or drew this heart and then my mom drew this one so i got these two little hand tattoos and if you have been watching the videos you know that i've said for a very long time that i've wanted to get hand tattoos um so i'm very 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 happy that these are my first ones and I don't even think I'm going to do any more hand tattoos because I kind of like the simplicity of just having these ones. Um, but I'm very excited to get them. So I got nails done today at like 9 a.m. I got the tattoo at like 11 and I got my hair done at like 1. We have been go, go, go today because once we get back to Brighton, babe, we are back in business. So I want to look good for being back in Brighton because... Um, the last time I was there, it was such a rushed move, so I looked a little bit messy, I'm gonna be honest. But once we get back to Brighton, that's when we stick in. That's like, that's when we 
that's when we get to business. So we need to look good because St. Patty's Day is coming up, which is a very, very, very important holiday to your little Irish leprechaun here. I have, in fact, bought an Irish jersey and I have, in fact, bought a leprechaun hat. I am going to feed into the stereotype. Someone just wrote self-care day. You know what the thing is? I wouldn't really call what I did today a self-care day because I think sitting in a hairdresser's chair, while it is lovely, is one of the most boring activities when you're getting your hair bleached and also getting your nails done. I don't enjoy that feeling. Um, getting tattooed doesn't really feel the greatest. So while it is a self-proclaimed self-care day, um, I would rather have just gotten a bath or something. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited for St. Patty's Day. And my one aim for St. Patty's Day is what? We've got a fucking Irish. <laughs> so we need to look good for it. The problem is the only Irish people that I know that are in Brighton are girls. Kind of looking out there. So we're going to have to go out and find we're going to have to go out and find one. It's a St. Patty's Day tradition. Come on. Hi, mom. I know you're watching. <laughs> Yeah, and my phone died when I was in the hairdresser's, Rav. So, like, oh, fuck me. You know what I mean? I was just sitting. <laughs> Find a pot of gold. I'll be finding something, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Didn't Trisha call you that? Trisha did call me that. I wonder if I can find the clip. Um, Trisha did call me a little leprechaun. Always appreciative of the representation. Thank you. She did think I was Scottish, though. Or, well, I don't even think she thought I was Scottish because, like, I think someone said it and she was like, mm, maybe Scottish. No, he's Irish. I wonder. Oh, I find it. Okay, here it is. This is from Trisha. Okay. Yeah, the search begins. Kara, hello. Did the hand tattoos hurt? No, they did not, actually. They were actually my least painful tattoo. And they I got both of them done within, like, 20 minutes. So, hopefully, they stay on my hands. All right, let me show you this. This is what people are referring to. Look at the amount of tabs I have open, by the way. We're going to get into today's stream because we have a lot to get to. Finding God's hole. Okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't get in trouble for that. I got like one or two comments of people being like, I'm religious and this is really upsetting to me. But I was like, the audience loved it. The audience loved it. So I'm willing to piss off a couple of religious people because... For the majority, people loved it. People loved us talking about God's glory hole. So uh, we're not going to do that today, but who knows what we'll get up to. Maybe talk about Kate Middleton's fucking BBL. Who knows? All right. So this is what people are talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that a McIntyre from Ireland? <laughs> yes. <gasps> is he? I think so. Did he say he met up with Colleen in Dublin? But he's Mac. Maybe he's Scottish. 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 <laughs> what was that? Yeah. He's Irish. Remember he said he went You know the way Trisha's like Is he Irish? I think he's Irish And then Moses like Scottish And Trisha goes Scottish mm, No I think he's Irish He's Irish He's Irish To Dublin know, He's like my he's... parents drove me to Dublin Ross 15 but He is me, He is Irish oh my... I don't sound like that And I tweeted this And I was like I do not sound like that And all the replies are people being like You do sound like that And I'm like Do I really sound like that? What did she say again? Dublin. Know, he's like, my he's... parents drove me to Dublin when I was 15. My parents drove me to Dublin when I was 15. My parents drove me to Dublin when I was 15. Where he said he went to Dublin. Know, he's like, my he's... parents drove me to Dublin when I was 15. My parents drove me to Dublin when I was 16. <laughs> She's going very Irish. Very Irish. But he to is. Me. He is Irish. Oh my oh. God. He's from Northern <gasps> Ireland. He can play Kayla Leprechaun. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Okay. Produ with just Trish produce. <laughs> <laughs> We'll live. I'm there for it. And we mean that with all the love in the world because I think gay leprechauns are the cutest thing in the whole world. That's so cute. Love that. <sighs> love that. She okay, thinks gay I leprechauns are the cutest things in the world. All right. <laughs> all right. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. Half the comments are saying I do sound like that and half the comments are saying you sound nothing like that. She's doing her fucking tavern made an accent. Yes! <laughs> You lost your accent, Adam. To be fair, I never really had a strong one. And I've been out of Derry for so long. The only time my Derry accent comes out is whenever I'm with people from Derry. And it takes a good few days. People were commenting on my Japan vlog with my friend Aoife, who's like really, really, really Irish. And people were like, oh, you really sounded like her towards the end of the video. And I was like, yeah, because we were confined to a fucking hotel room for so fucking long together. <laughs> so anyway... Adam, can we go clubbing together, please? 
hmm, I'm not really in a clubbing vibe right now. So I'm going to politely turn you down on that. Just because I'm not in a clubbing mood right now. Also, before, should we, we'll start with Kate Middleton. Um, I can't be fucked with packing, you guys. Oh my god. I'm back to Brighton in two days. Like, actually, I have one day left in Manchester. Am I ready to move? Well, yes. But am I ready to move, like, with boxes and shit? <sighs> Any adoring muckers want to come over and I will pay you to pack up my apartment? <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. Jay said, are you going to go live on Twitch again? Um, I'll address it at the start for anyone who, like, watches this and wants to know. Um, by the way, please like the stream if you're watching right now. I'd appreciate it. Um, will I ever go live on Twitch again? Maybe. The only reason I'm not going live on Twitch again right now is because I'm not consistently streaming. And for me to stream on Twitch, for you to watch it enjoyably, you have to pay a subscription. And I don't want people to have to pay if I'm not going to, like, if I don't know if I'm committing to full hours again streaming. So, um, for the time being, I'm just streaming here where you can watch it for free versus making you pay on twitch no shade to twitch i loved my time on twitch but um i feel like you just packed from brighton yeah and if i was smart and i knew i was gonna move back i just wouldn't have packed up my stuff again i would have just packed to brighton and packed down <laughs> so anyways should we begin with this fuck ass kate middleton story because what the fuck is going on what the fuck is going on how long did the corpse ride tattoo take i want to say two hours maybe I want to say two hours. Should we do that? Um, please do the Rylan Shane update. What update with Rylan and Shane? First of all, that sounds so. <laughs> Why are you moving back? Made a video on it, babe. We're going to get right into our topics. <laughs> um, all right. So, let's start with Kate Middleton. Let me try to gauge where I want to start with this, because, oh, what a fucking topic, and, oh, none of it makes sense, but any chance I get to, um, hate on the royal family, oof, <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> any chance I get to hate on the royal family, I'm sitting for it. I'm sitting for it. The demise of the royal family, oh, us Irish people have been waiting for it. You bitches are just catching up. Where have you been? Come join the party! <laughs> the royal family demising just before St. Patty's Day? Beautiful. Beautiful. Is anyone else listening to the Ariana Grande album and then picturing the guy that she's singing about and just being like, whoa. When she's singing that boy is mine and you're thinking about Spongebob? My goodness gracious, yes. All right. Let me load up Kate Middleton. Dude, seriously, what the fuck is going on with the royal family? Finally made it to a stream. Hi, Mary. Adam, two. Royal family, zero. Wait. Trisha might not have taken out Prince Charles yet, allegedly. Dude, it's like actually crazy how when she gets pregnant, something happens to the royal family, right? Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it, it, it really, it, it's, it's not a coincidence anymore. Like, we were saying about Prince Charles, you know, Trisha killed off Queen Elizabeth, right? We're aware of that. And then we were expecting that she was going to kill off Charles. Maybe she's killed off Kate. Has anyone ever considered? <laughs> but it really is. I'm not even joking. And I knew Trisha was like, please stop talking about this. I don't care. It's funny as fuck. Isn't it crazy how anytime Trisha Paytas gets pregnant, Anytime there's a baby in that womb, something happens to the royal family. Like, that is a crazy coincidence. It just, it cannot be a coincidence anymore. Like, it really can't be a coincidence. The royal family need to give her some, like, form of birth control or something. Because, honestly, she is this close from knocking out the entire Great British public, actually. <laughs> like, what happens when she runs out of members of the royal family? Are we... Do we know what can what what's gonna happen if she continues to populate? Like, will are we? Well, I'm not British, but I mean, for the British people in the chat, you're next. <laughs> you're next, motherfucker. She's coming for you. You do not know how many babies she can pop out. If, if she hates the British that much, she's coming for all of you. Serves you right. <laughs> so anyway. 
victim says universal karma. Well, I don't know what's going on. Trisha Paytas, stay away from me when you get pregnant. Because that fucking, whatever you have going on is crazy. Like, that is, I mean, it's kind of impressive, honestly. It really is impressive. Good for you, honestly. Crazy form of manifestation, isn't it? She spent many years doing that on YouTube and look where it's got her. She can take out an entire monarch. <laughs> Good luck, British. Good luck, British people. She's coming for you next. What's going on with Kate? Let's begin. Let's begin, Mama. Yeah, what happens if she... Wait, do we think when she wipes out the entire royal family, she'll move on to different royal families? That's a good point, Robin. Will she move on to different royal families? Biggest flopper, I love the album. Biggest flopper, oh my goodness, stop commenting that. <laughs> Biggest flopper, let's not spam in chat. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put you on a timeout. Sorry about that, babe. Sorry. The teacher's coming out. The teacher's coming out. All right. So, let's get to it. So, to kind of give you a brief, um, we're going to um, basically do a debrief on Kate Middleton, but we're going to open it with the biggest thing, which is this AI alleged photo, right? Let's get in. Are we ready for our first video? Are we ready for our first video of the night? Because I am. Because I am. All right. I love when my friends text me that they're watching my streams. That makes me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Hi, muckers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We've got to talk about Kate Middleton. It's all consuming in my mind. I am someone who does not care about the royal family. I think that the royal family need to be gone. I, don't worry, Trisha Paytas is working on it. But I just think that it shouldn't exist. And I've never really cared about anything that happens in the media with them. But oh, am I obsessed with this Kate Middleton story because none of it makes sense. Nobody know, knows what's going on. There's so many different possibilities. The royal family are acting in the most weird way publicly, and they're almost they are making it worse for themselves. So basically, like a really quick rundown, Kate Middleton um, had surgery and was going to take a leave. And the last time she was seen was in January, right? We'll, we'll get to the actual dates and the actual timeline, but we're just kind of, you know. She was seen, you know, a good couple months ago and hasn't been seen since that. And she's normally someone who was very forward with the press. She was a kiss ass to the press and she was the nation's darling. Not mine, but for some of y'all bitches. And for her disappearance, it's been very weird to the British public because there's been no updates on her health. There's been no updates on the surgery. There's been no updates if she's okay. There's been no updates if she's alive. There's no, no one is considering the fact that Kate Middleton, if we link up the dates, might be recovering from a BBL. Now, honestly, if you had told me this a week ago, I would have been like, that's a stupid realization. However, with the way the royal family are acting... Maybe she got, like, a facelift as well. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she's going to come out and look so fucking different, and we're going to be like, whoa, Kate Middleton. We don't know. But anyway, in light of all this speculation about whether Kate is alive, whether she got a BBL, whatever the fuck is going on, the royal family have done quite possibly the worst thing they could have done, and they released this yesterday, and it is quite possibly a very, 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 very bad PR thing that I think they could have done in this instance. From the Prince and Princess of Wales, thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy, ha hello, happy Mother's Day from C, which her name is Catherine, right? We don't care about that. All we care about is, did she get a fucking BBL? And then it says that the photo was taken from the Prince of Wales, so William, uh, 2024. So they're saying that this photo was taken this Mother's Day, or at least in this year. And it says that she's wishing us all a happy Mother's Day, and it's a photo of her and her kids. Mm-hmm. No. What's interesting about this image is that it's the first thing to come out in quite some time by Kate, and everyone was like, whoa, she's looking good. And then we were like, wait. This photo feels wrong. 
Now, she was photographed a couple weeks ago driving a car, and it was the blurriest photo of all time, which is ironic because pretty much everyone has a good camera, and if it's a photographer, and they're getting the blurriest photo where it doesn't even look like her, and people were, like, face-apping it to, like, you know, see her true face, and it didn't look like her. So then this is their way of being like, look, she's alive! She's alive! Now, we're in a digital age where the internet is terrifying, and so much of what we see is digitally altered, and also... AI. And this image, when you zoom in on it, has so many issues and so many problems. Mother's Day in the UK was yesterday. But I know in America it's different. Now, first of all, just something that I have seen on social media, whatever this one is called, the young girl, her hair, allegedly, if we believe these timelines, has grown so long within the last time we've seen her publicly, which is literally not humanely possible, um, no matter how young you are and no matter how good your genes are. Also, the hair randomly cuts off, the jackets randomly cut off, the sleeves randomly disappear, like this sleeve randomly disappears, like is AI or digitally altered in some way. The skirt randomly ends. The kids, I know you can't see it, but all of the kids' fingers are like this, which is... Oh, like, what the fuck? Like, this one, whatever this one's called, is doing this with its fingers. This one is doing this with its fingers. And then this one as well is, like, doing, like, this with her fingers. So all of the kids are doing a really, really, really weird pose. And there's just so many issues with it. Kate's hair randomly stops. The jackets are going off. This photo in some way has been altered, which has been confirmed by the palace now. Now, here's the... Did she get extensions? What, the the child? So, the palace, I don't want to say Kate because we don't know who the fuck said that it, you know, came forward with it. With this post today, which is really fucking funny. <laughs> so, by the way, we're told to believe that William took the photo, right? It says, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. <laughs> British people, this is your future queen. I do occasionally, this is literally me whenever like I, I face you in a picture too much and people are like, who is that? I go, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. <laughs> I wanted to express my apologies for the confusion the family photograph we shared caused. I hope everyone's celebrating had a happy Mother's Day. See. Now, we were told William took the photo, right? You're telling me that Kate is, from what we believe, recovering from surgery on this deathbed, allegedly, and learned the skill of Photoshop, not very well, clearly, to Photoshop the image, but also what we're forgetting is, in this image, what is Kate not wearing? Her wedding ring. So, if that story is true, Kate learned Photoshop, (laughs) you know, in, in the palace just doing it, so that she could remove her wedding ring remove part of her jacket, remove part of her daughter's jacket, make her kids' fingers do really weird things, hair ending randomly. It's bullshit. No one believes it. No one believes it. Now, here's the thing. I believe this is AI. Like, there's there's no way to me that this is not AI. I've seen so... The thing is, I've seen so many AIs that have been more believable than this and one thing that ai does is it does these things where it'll cut off images or it'll do whatever however the ring not being on her finger at a bare minimum the palace and the royals have just caused a bigger problem for themselves because there's been so much speculation that you know she's recovering there's been so much speculation that she got a bbl that she died but one of the things that a lot of people even the royalists believe is that Kate and William are getting a divorce, which is, you know, going to be obviously very bad for the palace. And what's interesting is a lot of news outlets in the UK today are announcing, like, they're talking about this random new princess or something, and people are like, oh, were they announcing, you know, the William's fucking mistress or something like that? Like, William's situation ship? Like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, now that we got to the photo, because that's the main thing that I wanted to get to immediately, I want to get to this article that details everything. But can I just say something? This has been the most interesting the royal family have ever been in their entire life. And honestly, if they're going to take all my tax money, I would rather they, like, 
I would rather they give me like entertainment like this, you know what I mean? Rather than be the boring bastards they are that are just scranners. Like just scratching my money like at least give us a little bit of drama like this like i i appreciate that they're finally giving us like a little bit of you know entertainment if they're gonna steal all our money and use it for nothing uh, whatever um anyway let's get to this article it details everything but yeah i've literally seen ai that has been more believable than that fuck off that uh, kate is uh, learning photoshop so she can photoshop f <laughs> please whatever yeah the soft launch of the side chick a lovely comment from my mother <laughs> Oh my god. She is William's wife. See, this is how little people care about the royal family. My fucking Americans don't even know about this. Anyways, let's read this. Where is Kate Middleton? Her disappearance from public view is getting weirder. All right. Princess Kate, formerly known as Kate Middleton, uh, one day to become Catherine Queen of the United Kingdom, has finally reappeared. Sort of. On March 10th, Kensington Palace circulated a picture of the Princess of Wales smiling with her children, which is the one we saw. And by the way, a lot of people are putting old photos of Kate from uh, magazines onto the new one and showing that it's like the exact same face and pose, which is like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I could have done a better job editing it. Listen, run it through your fucking face chin. Make that skin glow, honey. All right. In honor of Mother's Day in the UK, the picture would have marked the second of only two public appearances from Kate since Christmas Day, which has been a long time. But shortly after the picture came out, it was marked by scandal. Multiple major photo agencies, including the AP, concluded that the image or the image has been manipulated in some way. And they're basically they've killed the image. The media have killed the image like they've killed the image. Do you know how bad of a shitstorm this is for the royal family? And do you know how much joy it brings me? Do you know? <laughs> they, news agencies have killed the image because they know that in some way it has been manipulated. Dude, this is really bad for the royal family. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. The next day on March 11th, uh, the Twitter account, I'm not calling it X, whatever, for the Prince and Princess of Wales issued an apology. I real, you know what, Kate? Kate, if you're still with us, go on Instagram Live. Do a TikTok battle with Rich Lux. If you're still with us. Then I'll believe that it's you. And I don't want a TikTok battle where, where you're like this. And they're like moving your hands and fucking moving your mouth and stuff like a puppet. Holding you up taxidermy i want you to go on a tiktok battle to prove that you are still with us and even if you have a bbl just come out and say it i think i would actually like you more if you came out and said you to bbl you know what i mean whoa my writs are really gone sorry i just saw that Sorry, can I just look down a second and can you appreciate the fact that I don't have any brown writs? Because for my past couple videos, I've been looking down and it's all people have been commenting on. So just, just take it in. Because again, you bitches have been commenting being like, oh, he needs to get his hair done. Sorry, just please. No writ, er, right? No writs. Scalp. Can we just acknowledge that? Because so many people were commenting on my video about my writs. Take it all in. Come on. Welcome, I got them done for you. No. Again. I would think that she was a baddie if she got a BBL. No, the thing is, a lot of people are saying that it's kind of history repeating itself with Princess Diana, where, you know, she's disappeared. The media is starting to talk negatively about her. There's this new alleged mistress being reintroduced. And then what happens to Kate? Well, hopefully she doesn't get in a car because we know what the royal family like today. Allegedly. Um... But anyways, it's really, it's, it's interesting. And listen, I'm willing to root for Kate if she, like, turns into a baddie, you know what I mean? Leaves the royal family. She may have taken my tax pounds, but, you know, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to make a compromise. I'm willing to make a compromise. All right. Okay. So, anyway. Mm hmm Later that same day, she was reportedly photographed leaving Windsor Castle, Reportedly, according to the Telegraph, the picture, however, shows Prince William in a car next to a brunette woman with only her ear and a little bit of her cheek showing. What kind of cheek? Show the BBL, queen! <laughs> 
Sunday's photo is one of only one of two photos we've seen for several months. She was photographed on March 4th, riding a car driven by her mother. However, people didn't believe that it was her in that, and it's also a really blurry photo, and it could have been any woman, to be fair. And blah, 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 blah. On January 17th, Kensington Palace announced that Kate had entered the hospital the day before for planned abdominal surgery. Abdominal surgery. BBL. The Princess of Wales appreciates the interest the statement will generate. The announcement said she hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much <laughs> normalcy for her children as possible and that her wish for her personal medical information remains private. Mm-mm. Nah. We're too interested now. It also, is she pregnant? What, you think she's hiding a pregnancy like fucking... She's not Kylie Jenner. You know the royals love milking a pregnancy as well. They love milking a pregnancy. Promise you it's not that. Please. So... She added that it was unlikely to resume public activities until Easter, which is March 31st, which is in a week's, two weeks time. She's going to look so good when she comes out. Face is going to be pulled. Ass is going to be huge. Tits are going to be huge. Hair is going to be amazing. Mm. I'm excited to see her. She's going to come out in like the revenge dress. She's going to look good as fuck. Mark my words. If she's still with us. So far, Kate has stuck to the previously announced schedule. Kensington Palace announced on January 29th that she had returned home, on track with her planned 10 to 14 days recovery. Which means, girl, you had your 14 days maximum to recover. Get out there now. You know. Get out. But then, all this to be said, why are we being shown manipulated photos that are edited so much so that allegedly Kate has to be like, I edited these. So she's spending Mother's Day on Photoshop. <laughs> she's real for that, actually. Kate, I'm looking for someone to make my thumbnails. So, babe, if you know how to use Photoshop, business emails down below, babe. So, you know, she's not resumed any of her activities. Her public appearances haven't been there. Uh, Prince William canceled a planned appearance of his own on February 27th, citing a personal matter. Rumors began to fly. He was probably flying out to see a situation ship. You know what, Prince William? We've all been there. Well, I haven't flown out for a situation ship, but we've all been there. Situation ship. Oof, rough, babe. See, even if the royal family talked about, like, their situation ships and stuff, I feel like I would I would relate to them more. I'd be like, you're real for that. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe they are just like us. <laughs> um, something someone, uh, people have theorized um, was that something has gone terribly wrong with Kate's health. Um, people believe that there's a real danger of her dying. Uh, people believe that maybe she's in an, an induced coma. Perhaps her marriage to William is in the rocks. Maybe she's just in hiding. Maybe she's run away. Maybe she's about to do a surprise appearance. Everyone, give it up for Kate Middleton! That would have been crazy, right? That would have been fucking crazy if I brought her out right now. She's all, like, bandaged up and stuff. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, perhaps she'd been killed and has been replaced by a body double. Oh my God. As the story took off, the joke theories began to take up more space. Um, you know, this is what people thought. She was recovering from plastic surgery. She was doing like, like, it started as a joke where people were making all these theories because nothing was being said. Now, the problem is the palace doing this and trying to stop the allegations by posting an AI photo have like made everyone think, oh wait, it's no longer funny. What the fuck are they hiding? Like, you know what I mean? Like jokey, jokey, jokies aside, it's so easy to disprove this. Again, put her on Instagram live, whatever. Take a photo of her holding a newspaper, something like that. But the fact that they're allowing this to really ruin the royal family and they're making it worse. What are they hiding? Like, really, what are they hiding? Blue said she had surgery. People should just leave her alone. Blue, I don't know if you've been on my channel before. We don't mind our own business over here. No. We really don't give a fuck to mind our own business over here. Just... Being 100% honest with you. If there's one thing we're going to do, we're going to get in people's business. Anyway, um, 
a lot of people had believed that she was getting plastic surgery. A lot of people believed that she was the villain in the Willy Wonka experience in Glasgow. <laughs> and again, the palace were basically refusing to do anything. All right. Why some people think Kate's cover story is fishy. Now, the reason that this is even weirder is because if something serious was going on, why aren't the royal family being upfront about it? They told us that Prince Charles had a big fucking, or what is his name? Yeah, they, sorry. They told us King Charles had a big bussy. I'm not forgetting that. Remember that? When they released a fucking PSA to all of us to tell us he has a fucking big bussy. He had a fucking uh, enlarged prostate. I didn't want to know the size of his fucking bussy. But, but that's something I fucking, like, on, like, I would rather know that Kate has a fucking BBL than fucking King Charles has a fucking big fucking hole. Seriously, pick and choose. Give us drama. We don't want the old one. We want new drama, fresh meat. You know what I mean? So anyway, what are they hiding? Um, okay. So again, we haven't had really a statement on her health since around January 17th. A lot of people have looked into the surgery that she was supposed to be getting, and it was supposed to be very minor. Again, two-week maximum recovery. We've really been seeing nothing. Um, so Kate's condition has remained mysterious. While Charles was almost, uh, you know, very transparent about his big hole and then, you know, his cancer, uh, we're told nothing about Kate at all, which kind of makes it, you know, stand out a little bit more. Um so anyway, the more time went on without even a single blurry photo, uh, the more that rumors were building. William was uh, photographed visiting the hospital, but he, like Kate's not even in the hospital. He goes in, goes to the vending machine, then walks out again <laughs> just to be photographed. Um, but no one saw Kate make her way out of the hospital and back into her own home, even though we were told she went back to her own home, but we saw William leave. So it's like, mm. she's posted no recovery photos to Instagram. Hasn't even done a fucking TikTok live battle. And no paparazzi have caught her, you know, ducking in a car or whatever, and we're seeing, you know, Prince William ever. All right. Under normal circumstances, the lack of photos of a woman recovering from a medical procedure would be recognized as a reasonable respect of someone's privacy. However, the life of a future Queen of England is not normal circumstances. In a country with a notoriously ruthless tabloid press, royals are considered to be fair game as much as anyone else. And also, also, I'm not going to let the fucking... British public, the very majority of the fucking media press as well, the racist British public, fucking Megan could breathe. And what was it? Story, 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 fucking tabloid, 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 tabloid. We don't even know if Kate's alive. And they're fucking not doing anything. Like, they're not saying anything. Like, these people were trying to ruin Megan's life. We know the reason. They're all fucking racist anyway, and they didn't they didn't want her in the royal family. But seriously, like Megan dealt with that that she ended up leaving and Kate gets to fucking disappear? Could you imagine imagine if What? Well, yes. Uh, right? I don't want to hear this bullshit because the only people that have dealt with, like, the media coverage in the royal family at the degree of Princess Diana has been Meghan Markle. Kate Middleton's getting nothing. Bitch, people are saying that you got a BBL. At worst, people think that you're a baddie. Actually, at worst, people think you're dead. But at best, people think you got a BBL and you're a baddie. <laughs> Anyways. So basically, it's fair game for the public. Blah, 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 blah. I agree. Um, and then it goes and talks about uh, Princess Kate's, like, reliability, and it talks about the fact that she would never miss things, people love her, blah, 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 I don't really care to hear nice things about the royal family. Anyways, what do we think is happening? What do we think is happening? The British royal family hate women. The British royal family hate women of color. Let's get that first and foremost. That's their biggest thing. They hate women of color. It's a racist institution anyway. I mean, call it out for what it is. Call it out for what it is. She's deleted all of her Instagram posts, the end of an era. When she posts a snake emoji tomorrow and she goes, wait, guys, Taylor's about to announce reputation Taylor's version. 
<gasps> I've got it. I've got it. Wait. Kate's going to be silent until Taylor announces reputation. The first drop of reputation, Taylor is going to tease images of Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton will be in the comeback music video for Nobody's Heard From Me For Months. I'm doing better than I ever was. What's that song? Call It What You Want. Taylor Swift is going to drop a music video for Call It What You Want. Kate Middleton is going to be the star of the music video. Kate Middleton is going to break free from the royal family. She's going to be on a vault track with Taylor Swift. And if that's not happening, I hope the royal family take my advice and do that because that would be cunt. Kate is the tortured poets department. <laughs> so what do we think is happening? Sorry, I asked you and then I completely went on a tangent. Was she silent or silenced? So what do we think is happening? Taylor does have a song on that album called King of My Heart. Body and so oh, oh, and all I want. <laughs> I've been waiting, waiting. I <laughs> love that album so fucking much. Someone just comment. I don't even know what's going on. You know what? With that, we'll end it. I think we've cracked the code. We've cracked the code, guys. We've cracked the code. I will see you in my next one. Let me know what you think about this. But I actually don't need to hear your opinion because I'm pretty much confident now that she's going to be on Taylor's version. Nobody's heard from her for months. She's doing better than she ever was. Because my turn is a bit like a daydream walking through his head. I'm the one he's walking to. Sorry if I'm... Not, I don't know the word. <laughs> Wait, what if she was watching Gabby Hanna at Oxford? Yes! Uh, it all makes sense. Someone said, if she is dead, then what? I don't know. What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Rest in peace, girl. I don't really know it. You've really just killed the vibe, honestly. Whoever that was, you really just killed the vibe in here. I hope you're happy. You've just killed the vibe. May as well just end the fucking stream night. Like, I guess we've got to wait until Trisha gives birth to really find out what happened. Stay tuned. Call it what you want. Hey, call it what you want. <laughs> All right, we'll end it there. BBL, Kate's version, from the vault. The old Kate can come to the phone. Why? Oh. <laughs> it would be awful if she was. This video will come back and bite me in the ass. If so, I'm wishing her well, even though I hate the royal family. Yes. All right, bye. Guys, we, we're, ju we're just getting... Hi, Siha. We're getting, like, so messy in our, in our videos now. That Gabby one was messy, and that one was even messier. <laughs> she is not stuck in God's hole with Gabby. I went looking myself. <laughs> Aoife, we were talking about you earlier. Only good things I... What time is it in Australia? Everyone, it's Aoife from the famous Oscar-nominated, not winning... We got robbed. Oscar nominated two weeks in Japan. She was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Unfortunately, she did not win, but she was nominated. So congratulations, Aoife, on the nomination. Unfortunately, you did not win, but always next time. Always next time. I'm loving seeing how people are spelling Aoife's name in the chat. Great job, everyone. <laughs> Nobody's heard from Kate from months. She's doing. By the way, I can't come to Manchester this week. Baby, I leave on Wednesday. But you can come get my keys if you want. 
Anyway, we'll talk about it after. Um, all right. So that was Kate Middleton. I'm not even joking. Like, I think it would be so funny if she like rebranded as a baddie. Like, all jokes aside. I love that I'm getting everyone to shout out Aoife and I'm pretty sure she's left. Fucking bitch. She didn't deserve that Oscar. Like, she can't even fucking show up to the award ceremony. All right. So, we're now going to move on to... Mm, we're going to move on to Eugenia Cooney right now. Also, Eugenia Cooney unfollowed me on every social media. And I only noticed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> was it something I said? Was it something I did? What was my last video on her? It had to be that. Let me figure out what my last video on Eugenia was. Whatever it was, I've been removed on every social media. It's because in my last video, I said I, I just can't endorse her anymore. Um, It's called Let's Talk About Eugenia Cooney. What did I look back? Hello? What did I... In Manchester? Wait, was this in Manchester? That's crazy. Have I been here that long? Wait. Eugenia Cooney. Eugenia Cooney. Hello? All right. Wait. I'm sitting in the exact same spot. Wait, did Aoife comment? Mm, I'm scouring the comments and I can't see her. Oh, she is. I'm here, what the fuck? Well? What now? Me and Aoife have gotten dangerously close since I went to Japan. We absolutely just love um, oversharing to each other. <laughs> How long have I been live? I have been live for 46 minutes. All right, we're going to get to this first one. I need to wipe my nose because my nose is running. Nobody's here for me from mom. So, yes, I wanted to film on Eugenia today, and it's normally something I don't film on um, because it's just such a messy conversation, right? However, look at this. So this was my last video I filmed on Eugenia, and I am i don't know what I talked about in this video, actually, but it was bad enough that she has removed me on social media. Should we watch it? What did I talk about? I don't like when I see the most replayed parts. Should we watch this before we get into the video? Sorry, it's crazy just like seeing me in the exact same location. I love seeing how I'm aging. Oh, the thought of aging is just so terrifying. <laughs> in the same location, different hair. Hmm. I'm just like observing myself right now. Hmm. It's really terrifying to just observe yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay, what do you think? Should we watch this to see why she's, like... Okay, people are saying, yeah. Wait until you're 30 and then it will hit you. Mm, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Girl, no sign. Because it was muted. It was mute. Sorry. B bitches. Bitches. I said looking at myself. I didn't say hearing myself. I said, should we watch... Okay, everyone... Dumbasses in the chat. <laughs> I can't hear the video. Let us in. We can't hear. Babe, no sign. Okay, maybe be smarter. Did you see the muted symbol? Maybe be more clever. Have we considered that, chat? Have we ever considered that? Have we thought about sitting and thinking? Clearly not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Aoife just texted me and went, like quoting me we've got dangerously close and just <laughs> and then said something incredibly shocking with it that both of us have faced recently <laughs> Ooh. Mm. all right <laughs> all 
All right. So this, then this. Okay. Let's do it. I can't wait for the stream to immediately get demonetized the second I start talking about her. People go, oh my god, you're making videos profiting off of Eugenia Cooney. And I'm like, do you realize that as a YouTuber, when you make videos talking about Eugenia Cooney, they like try to strike down your fucking channel? For obvious reasons, but like, oof. You look like you're sneezing in that video. No, I look like a beautiful angel sent from above that is about to say something so wisdomy, I assume. <laughs> All right. Nobody said from me the one. <laughs> Shelby, talking a lot of shit for someone. And my mom removed the comment. Mom, don't worry, that wasn't a hate comment. Talking a lot of shit for someone whose last stream was only through the left ear. Fuck you, Shelby! Can we get the middle finger for Shelby in the chat, please? Fuck you, Shelby. Was it my fault that I had only plugged in one portion of the mic? Yes. Is it your fault that you're being a meanie in the comment? Yes. Fuck you, Shelby. My mom's so protective that if anyone says anything bad, she just will be like, block. <laughs> Out of my best friend, and I have a podcast called Snapped the Podcast, exposing Greek life on American campuses. It's mucker material. Google it. Ooh, first of all, thank you for your donation. Let me copy and paste that. Speaking of podcasts, I'm so excited for my new studio in Brighton because I'm currently in the process of decorating it. And I'm going to <clears throat> start inviting people over and filming podcasts with them. You know what would be crazy? I am hoping to be the first ever YouTuber <laughs> that will film podcasts with um, situationships. Wouldn't that be crazy? Who thinks that I could get situationships that I'm in to come on to, to a podcast with me? <laughs> I've not seen anyone do it. I'm kidding, by the way. No, none of them would ever do Wouldn't that be fucking brilliant? Like old situationships, I come, I I interview them. I have like a rating board. What did you like and what you didn't like about our time together? What are my flaws? Let's talk about them. What are my pros? Let's talk about them. By the way, everyone, I am so late. Do a dating show, just for myself. <laughs> I I'm like swiping on Tinder, and my bio says. Only swipe if you're willing to come on my YouTube channel. <laughs> There's something so... Wait, this is such a good idea, but, like, it, it just would never functionally work. Like, it would never work, but I think there's something so interesting. There would be such a good podcast with doing first dates as a podcast. Obviously, you could not do that. Obviously, you could not do that. That would not work, and anyone you would do on would have to be, like, a fucking actor or something, right? Because whatever. But there would be something so interesting about that. So what was the worst thing about me? And the muckers weed out the bad ones. It's like the when H3 do the, the dating show. Brooklyn said, none of them. Like, how many situationships you got? None right now. I'm hand on God. None right now. I'm being very good. Also, guys, remember our girl talk? Remember our girl talk that we did? I got so many really insightful comments, and I'm happy to announce that I ended up deleting dating apps. I've been a couple days without dating apps, and you know what? It feels so good to not have to have fucking small talk with people. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good. There were so many people that were commenting about the downsides of dating apps. And I was like, wait, I agree with you. And I deleted them because someone commented something and they were like, you go out too much to like have to rely on them. And I was like, fair. And also I was getting too many people, dog, commenting fucking Colleen Ballinger things on fucking Tinder. What the fuck? Dude, people were swiping on Tinder and opening with a Colleen joke. And I was like, I cannot do this no more. And also, someone swiped on Tinder with me like three or four days ago. And their opening line was, I really, really, really enjoy your videos. And I was like, thank you so much. And they were like, that's all I had to say. And they unmatched with me. <laughs> like, they, they just swiped to basically be like, get a DM and then whatever. And I was like, 
what the fuck is this? So anyways, um, happy to say, happy to say I did get an, um, an acceptance to Raya actually. When I was mingling in Paris, all my little bitches out there are on Raya and they actually got me accepted onto Raya. I just haven't set up my profile yet, but I did get accepted onto Raya. So maybe we'll start dating celebrities. Um, yeah, I got, oh wait, oh wait, I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, my friends Anna and Louise and also my cousin are on Raya and they ended up, you have to do referrals and you have to get approved and you have to show your Instagram and all this bullshit and your YouTube. Um, it took like a month. I ended up getting approved. Um, have not created my account, but what celebrities are in Brighton? <laughs> you know what I mean? The little heartstopper twinks. All love to them, but I'm good. Anyways, so, um, read so many things, ended up, de ended up deleting dating apps because I was just so over the small talk. And I was like, you know what? I was like, the, the couple times in my life where I've actually been out with people, how have I met them? In real life. Like I met them at the bar or I met them, you know, blah, 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 blah. We'll knock into those. Um, and so I was like, wait. And then I was like, I can eliminate having to, you know, do this. So I just, you know, got rid of them and we're going to see how long we do without them. Again, we live in a very dating app, you know, society. Um, so we'll see how long. However, it's been blissful. And you know, also it's been blissful. Rabbit commented, this person has AIDS. Oh, rabbit, you shit me down and you punch me down. Bullet, bullet. Oh, God, you got me. You got me. Um, anyway, so uh, what was I going to say? What I was going to say was we're in such a society where obviously it's very dating app um, heavy, but I just couldn't be bothered. And you know what's also very interesting is once I deleted dating apps, I was kind of like, mm, I feel better. <laughs> so anyways, I um, wait, people are saying no sign. I'm pretty sure there is sign still. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how long we go without them. I'm actually enjoying being without them. Um, someone said um, that... Uh, what was it? Someone commented. Um, someone commented... Oh, they were like, how many situationships do you have? Uh, Aoife. <laughs> um, sorry, my friend Aoife is currently sending me very inappropriate texts. Um, oh, you shot me down in my bony little back. Anna, I haven't heard that one in quite some time. Um, rabbit pro projecting on the hole. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, I actually don't have any situationships right now. And I also... Mm, see, this is when I start getting in trouble. I start oversharing. Let me dilute this time. Let me dilute this time. I had a, like, coming to Christ moment. I had a coming to Christ moment. Literally. Um, no, I'm kidding. God, Adam, seriously, what the fuck is going on? Um, where I was kind of like, I watched Eternal Sunshine, the movie. And it was all about breakups and stuff, right? And I was, like, thinking about different things to do with, um, you know, like breakups and relationships and all these different things okay and i thought about like the situation ship like you know getting into a situation ship and all i could think about was like mm, you end up getting hurt and when you get when someone gets hurt like sometimes people can deal with that i'm like oh i can't deal with that so with the only people that i was talking to right now i was kind of like mm, I'm pretty sure I'm putting in more effort than what they are. Um, cause there's two people surprisingly. Um, so I think we're just going to have to be done with that because we can't start something being more, you know, we need mutual effort. So anyways, we're going back to writing with a clean slate. So when you say how many, um, when you're saying how many situationships do I have, um, I actually don't have that many um, anymore. I used to. Um, I did love a situationship. They used to drive me crazy. 
Uh, but not anymore. Not really on board with him. All right, let's get to the Eugenia Cuny. We all can't stop with God's hole. Stop. Um, when you get in a situation, you like know it's going to end bad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Situationships will also lead to, but also I think as well, it's important to note that um, a lot of people commented, oh wait, Aoife just messaged me saying I'm going back to bed. Oh, I forgot you're in Australia. Good night, my princess. Um, a lot of people also um, commented on my video and kind of incite, like were very insightful um, and I appreciated it. And someone commented and was like, you also have to be aware that different people think of different things. Shelby's back from timeout. Welcome back, babe. That was me that put you in timeout, so my fault. Um, you have to realize that not everyone is the same. Someone's like never getting to the Eugenia thing. Hold on! <laughs> hold the fucking... Hold your horses, please. Oh my goodness, Christ. So anyways, um, let me talk. Not everyone thinks of the same thing when they're in a relationship, right? Like, not everyone wants to be in a relationship. Not everyone wants to be in hookup culture. And for so long, I used to think of that as a bad thing. Um, but now I kind of think of it as a good thing because I'm kind of like, mm, I now agree that I don't want a situation ship. So moving forward, you know. Anyways, so I feel like I've learned something. I say that after every situation ship. But, you know, we learn, we learn. All right, let's get to it. And for the plot, to be fair, one of the best things, actually probably the best thing that can come out of a situation ship is that you provide a new plot for your friends. Like when one of my friends gets into a situation ship and a couple of them are, and one of them actually just got into a new one, I was like, ooh. And then one of my other friends right before I moved got into one. And I was like, ooh, no, 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 I've seen the signs before. And it ended up, you know, turning into what I thought it was going to turn into bad. But it was a new plot for us. You know, it was a new topic, a new conversation. <laughs> so it's very important. All right. Let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. It, it, the drama is always good whenever it comes to situationships. This top is fucking me off. Hold on. Don't like that. A little. What the fuck? Hey, do you want to work? Good enough. Good enough. All right. <clears throat> um, what is a situation ship? A situation ship is um when you're basically it ranges. You're either sleeping with someone, and that's it. But you, like, sleep with each other enough that it's kind of like a relationship. Or it's, like, a little bit more intense where it's more like a relationship. And, um, like, they don't want any um, relationship, if you get what I mean. So it's a situation ship. And I hate them. All right, let's get to the Eugenia. Finally. <clears throat> oh, my God. The people commenting AIDS in the chat. Oh, you shit me dying. You shit me dying. You shit me dying. I'm holding back my tears. Um, by the way, I see people in chat when, when people comment things like that and they get up, upset. Please just know that I've had much worse things said about me on the internet. And also, please keep commenting. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. <clears throat> Hi, muckers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Eugenia Cooney. And this has been... A conversation that I have wanted to talk about for whew, quite some time. And it's something I always put off whenever it comes to Eugenia because I think it's very uncomfortable to talk about Eugenia Cooney. Um, before I went to talk about this um, topic, I know that I'd filmed a video on Eugenia a, a couple months ago. And I can't remember what I talked about in that video, to be fair. Um, however, me and Eugenia used to follow each other on social media. And if you're aware, at a time period, we used to um, do collabs on Twitch. And it ended up getting to it where there was just a lot of things going online that I ended up making a statement that I just can't really endorse what she's doing and I can wish her well and all these different things. And it was in this video, I'm pretty sure. And I'm, we're going to rewatch it before we get to what's happened. Um, 
and turns out, I guess, she's removed me from her social medias since I filmed this video. So, again, while I don't know what I necessarily... I don't know how harsh I was in this video. I guess we'll find out. It's been enough that I've been removed from, you know, her social medias. And I know that it's, you know... I'm aware as well that... <sighs> Someone just commented Adam's a bottom as a hate comment. And a very good one. And it... <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Anyways, so I saw. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. So we did it. Oh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> they got me there, actually. <laughs> they got me there. Um, no, I, she still follows, like, Sloan and Rich Lux and all these people, so I know that she has just removed me. So I guess we'll go back and revisit this video and see how bad it is and whatever. And then ultimately we're, what we're going to talk about is that Eugenia got a very long ban from TikTok and then came forward with a video talking about it and the reasons that people want her banned. So we're going to, we're going to get to that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about the previous thing. Um, so I want to watch this just to see how bad it is to be like, was her, you know, removing me justifiable, but also it's, it's fine if she wants to remove me from things. I mean, we were never close or anything like that. She helped me out a lot on Twitch and for that, I'll always be very, very grateful um, she helped me out so much on Twitch, um, and again, I'll be so grateful for her um, for that, but I think around this time, there was just a lot that I couldn't really, I just really couldn't stand by. Anyway, let's figure out what was, what I did. Hello everyone, Whoa. welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, Same location. we are going to cover what is going on between Rich Lux, Eugenia Kinney, Jeffree Star, Jesse Smiles, and Lily. So, Jesse and Lily have the Do We Know Them podcast, which I actually really like that podcast. Um, and I really like Jesse. Still do. I really like um, Lily. Still do. Um, Shout out to the girls. I've seen that they made a podcast. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw that they made a podcast in which they talked about uh, Rich Lux and Eugenia and Jeffrey. And I actually am considering... I'm considering watching that first. I'm considering watching that first to kind of let let them talk and hear what they have to say. Do people want to watch that first? Because Rich has done a response. But if people want to watch that first to kind of... Yes, we do! Well, yes! And hear it, we can do that. Do we want to do that? I think that'd be better for context. Do you allow everyone to have their say? Do you allow everyone have their say? I feel like that's probably what we should do. So we'll do that. So, the Do We Know Them podcast, they have... An episode called Jeffree Star and Rich Lux helping Eugenia Cooney and TikTok rabbit holes. So we'll watch this. To kind Those of TikTok battles were so bad. Say, then we'll allow Rich to have his say. I don't want to speak for... <laughs> someone, someone commented. Uh, because um, the people you're, you're trying to... Um, like make me mad by complimenting me or keep commenting bottom 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 and some taylor responded and goes adam might be a bottom but he's still on top of all of these haters minds <laughs> anybody i want everyone to have their opinions right there first and foremost and we will go uh from there now Okay, here Let's we go. Let's talk about Eugenia Kinney for a second. So, um, so. <clears throat> babe, babe. So this is, um, this is obviously why she ended up removing me on social media. Eugenia is someone who, if I can be 100% real with you, I, in the past, have felt so protective over um, and we've had, me and Eugenia have had drama before. Like, True. if anyone remembers the VidCon situation, like, me and Eugenia have had drama before. And she was so sweet to me through all of that. And we had our back and forth. 
and we agreed to disagree and she was always very respectful of me online and I tried my best to extend that to Eugenia as well. Um, and in any conversations that we had, they were always very public. And one thing that Eugenia Cooney did for me was she really, really, really helped me uh, whenever I first started streaming on Twitch. I'm not seeing anything bad with what I'm saying right now, but I assume it gets worse after this. And that's something that I'll always be very grateful to her for. Sorry if I spoke the fucking truth. Um, she very much so extended a extended a, a arm to me and helped me with the world of Twitch, which was something that I didn't really understand. And whenever I, I first did my first couple streams, uh, Eugenia had, we had like similar audience crossover and there was a couple streams where um, we had ended up raiding each other. And then there were a couple streams as well where we, we would go on at the same time. And Eugenia used to do the, I don't know if she still does them, whatever, the Just Dance streams. And then I loved Just Dance whenever I was a kid. Still love it. And um, I started doing the Just Dance streams on my um, Twitch as well. And that Which was so much like fun. A, a week or so, or however long it lasted. Um, her her community were always... There. By the way, Eugenia hasn't blocked me, but she's just unfollowed me on everything. Which arguably stings more. I'm kidding. <laughs> nice to mine. And I always tried to make sure that mine was to her. And then whenever it comes to Eugenia, it's a conversation that I had to realize at a certain stage that the people around her did not have her best interest. And... I never wanted to be swept up in the universe of people thinking that I was ever using Eugenia or people thinking that I I was ever exploiting Eugenia. So it just kind of was a natural, you know, what's the word? Like a natural... Uh, Dude, this is not bad. And I'm sorry if I'm not going to be a YouTuber who just like blows smoke up her ass and ignores the very inevitable conversation. And I apologize if I've engaged in that in the past, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job at explaining why here. Like, what the fuck? Like, again, I'm, <clears throat> this is not the topic we're talking about today. We're going to talk about the TikTok ban and her addressing the TikTok ban and why she's been age restricted on like every social media and all these different things. But I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to come down hard on her because, again, I'm going to stick with my morals here. But again, to like other YouTubers who are involved in this, it's like... So what, you can't even say this without, like, being, like, cut off or being the bad one or whatever? Like, what the fuck? I don't fucking know, dude. We just kind of stopped interacting on social media because I just never wanted to be perceived in, in that light, whether it was intentional or not from me, and it never was. Um, and I just think that it was always very, very hard for me whenever I always had a very sweet interaction with her and then hearing so much background, looking into things further, it was very, very, very complicated. And it was a situation that I didn't want to be a part of. Um, and I just thought that while with Eugenia Cooney, there's only one person who can properly want help for Eugenia Cooney, which is Eugenia Cooney. I never wanted my audience to ever perceive me as someone who was trying to encourage anybody who was struggling. So for me, my opinion and where I stand now with Eugenia is that I will always wish the best for her. Um, but I, I just am not involved with that, you know, anymore. And it, it's, I just I, I hope people can re respect that as well, where it's like, I just kind of want to be uninvolved in it. And I also just wish her well. It's like, there's no part of me. Dude, I am walking on eggshells in this fucking video. Jesus Christ. Like for me watching this, this is me four fucking months ago. The fucking eggshells are on the ground and I am walking around them. What the fuck is wrong with this video? Nothing at all. Like, Eugenia, I'm sorry if this, if this upset you in any way, but my God. Dear Lord, woman, this is very nice, actually.
that ever wants to be negative towards her because the internet is negative towards her and I don't want to add to that. Um, I have made videos in the past, over the past couple years, where I have called Eugenia Cooney out. Mm -hmm. I have talked about her impact online. And then whenever I had a, a personal interaction with Eugenia Cooney, it made me feel so awful about those videos that I had posted in the past. And so then whenever I sat with it for a while, that's where I had to take myself 100% back from it. 100% back from it. And so the conversation that is happening now is that people are saying that Jeffree Star specifically is exploiting Eugenia Cooney. And... All right, we'll drop it there. But um, we'll get to this. But, dude, there's nothing wrong with my video at all. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Anyways, so Eugenia, um, in the last like month, I think she's back now, but in the last month had a very long TikTok, like age restriction, TikTok ban. And if you're aware, that's the only social media that she really posts on nowadays. She does, you know, her TikTok live battles and she does them for hours upon hours a day. And she used to, you know, do Twitch all the time, but now does <clears throat> TikTok. So this is a really big thing. She was posting on her Instagram story every day, how sad she was, you know, it was a wrongful ban, all these different things. It was blah, 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 blah. So I saw this on her Reddit, which is addressing being gone from February 6th. Um, so basically, this is her talking about it. And I don't want to read any of the comments because I'm pretty sure they're all going to be very intense. But let's hear from Eugenia's mouth why what happened with her being banned and blah, 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 her reasonings for it happening. People said that it happened because of the, you know, the TikTok live battles were getting very intense and, you know, she was not appearing in the greatest state and all these different things but let's hear what she has to say um, i just kind of wanted to come on here and say that i'm sorry that i haven't really been posting or been around um there's kind of just been like a lot going on and um honestly i just haven't really been like feeling like mentally up to it i guess right now um some of you guys might have seen or figured out that there's been like some pretty big changes to my account right now and first of all i just want to be clear that like you know i respect tiktok's decision and everything and i'm really sorry for anything that i may have accidentally done wrong like on my end and yeah i guess today i just kind of wanted to like talk about some of that stuff so i guess right now just like with all of this like I just really haven't been feeling like that great mentally. I know like there'll be some people that, you know, will get kind of mad at me not being around and think like, I'm trying to scare people or like whatever, but that's really not the case. And the people that, you know. I mean, she just said they're nice. She was like, I don't want to think people think that I'm scaring people by going away that they think, why am I gone? Like blah, 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 blah. Like she just, you know, Eugenia is aware of, of why people fear when Eugenia goes silent on social media because they don't know if anything's happened to her. And she's just admitted that. She said, I didn't want people to feel, you know, scared that because I was gone, something had happened. Like, she's very aware. This is why, you know. You know, actually do care and stuff. Like, thank you guys. I really do um, appreciate that a lot. That's just kind of like the lot of this, like, happening, like, so suddenly and this app has been such a big part of my life like this last year pretty much i feel like all of my friends are on here and getting to like connect with them and connect with people it's honestly just been like the most fun and happiest that i've been online in like literally years like especially where like i kind of had no warning with like anything to do with this um it just kind of was like very sudden um i just kind of i guess feel like I don't know, like I've been feeling pretty low. So I'm so sorry if this video is a mess, um, but I do kind of, I feel like me just kind of like sitting in my room being sad isn't really doing any good either. So that's why I did just kind of want to like, you know, at least try to make something for you guys. In the future, I want to just kind of like try to do things better and say that I'm sorry about videos that I think when- I mean, this is very interesting. I mean, we're, we're, we're two minutes in and all were, you know, she's very aware. I mean, she's, she's just saying like, you know, I'm sorry, I'll do better content. I'm sorry, I'll do better. You know, 
it's kind of like addressing it so then people can say you're not addressing it but then you're not addressing it properly and it's like whoa bleak and i've put out i wasn't really maybe like thinking much about looking back i'm just kind of trying to like reflect on things and just think of like you know ways or videos that i can do better like yeah, i mean it's all very i'll do better and i'll do that better i'll do always do want to be clear to everybody that i never would mean any harm that's never my intention i guess a lot of the time i've just kind of seen it as like people just kind of like judging me about how i look or you know like maybe not as big of a deal as like how some people have, would like take what I'm putting out sometimes. I guess right now, you know, I'm just kind of trying to like work on myself. You know what I mean? Like she keeps saying like the things I'm putting out, videos I'm putting, I'll do better about the videos I'm putting, but not specifically saying what. So she is aware of everything, but it's just like, I just, I know people say this, that, and that, but I know that even, even if you don't believe it, even deep down, you know, she's a sweet girl that you know needs helped but the only person that can help her is her and again not taking away from anything she's done online it's the first thing people say whenever you say something like that i'm saying even if you think deep deep down deep 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 down like even if you think that right but i'm like damn but again it's like it, it's this we can't do anything we you know what i mean you, you you can't do anything you can't force someone to get help you can't force someone like you, you can't we witnessed this and it had the opposite effect like there's nothing we can do and again clearly if i can't even put out a video where i'm saying that i just don't endorse people you know using her and stuff like that i get fucking removed on social media like you can't fucking say anything and like see what i can do better and um hopefully not put out anything that you know could be like considered like triggering or like bad for anyone because like it's really, really never my intention to like try to do that. This has kind of been like the only place that I've kind of felt like accepted like in so long online and kind of like where people will treat me as a person. So that's how like I noticed some people, they might be like, this isn't even a big deal. Like she's going on about this, but just to me where, you know, like I've honestly felt pretty alone in things for a really long time. And this app has just kind of really made me feel more accepted and stuff like that. So just kind of having like so much, um, it, it feels like taken from me um, so suddenly <laughs> has just really, really felt like a lot. And I don't know, I just feel super bad about anything I like have done wrong on my end and just really, really want to try to like do better, do things better in the future and for all you guys and just try to make things like hopefully more positive and do what I can do like from my side of that. So yeah, I don't know. I've just been feeling like really, really like bad about everything. I think like none of us are perfect and I'm just kind of learning like every day. Like I'm really just a person, just kind of like we're all people and sometimes I think I'm going to make mistakes or you know, mess things up, but I really have had such an amazing time on this platform this last year. And oh my God, it's almost like I can predict I what can she's going to say like, next. Like, you know, going forward, try to do a better job with things and hopefully have things like back to normal. But I'm just kind of going to try to like do better and everything, guys. And I hope that you guys can accept that from me. I'm sorry that I'm not really getting into too much detail right now. I've just kind of, you know, just kind of trying to like, I guess, slowly get back into doing stuff again and um hopefully posting like more positive content for you guys and and stuff like that and um yeah and i i really love you guys so much thank you to you guys that do support me it really means so much to me i guess all i can try to do is be the best version of me that i can be um i think like sometimes i'm just kind of so used to some people not everybody but some people just being so mean to like the point where i kind of feel like people just kind of see me as like a problem um and kind of forget that i'm a human um <laughs> Which is okay, you know, I'm not trying to like say this just with me. I think like sometimes it's just important to just like remember that like we're all people and then we're all just kind of learning. We're all going to make mistakes sometimes and you can just kind of try to do better and learn from things and just try to be kind to each other. I feel like that's really important because sometimes I just feel like being really mean and just attacking other people really doesn't do anyone any good. So I hope everything I'm saying... 
Wait, oh, everything what? Makes sense. Uh, I mean, you repeated it enough that... Um, okay. Here's the thing. I mean, again, this video is very clearly made to kind of pander to the social media people. Uh, the social media people being the TikTok moderators and, and stuff, you know? So when she got removed because of her content, she can then be like, but I said an apology. And the reason it's so long is because she really doesn't say anything, but because it's so long, like yapping about the same thing, it feels a little bit more authentic. Um, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't even know where I stand on commenting with Eugenia anymore because, I mean, it's frustrating that, like, it, it's just frustrating, like, how do I want to say this? Hmm. Let me get comfortable. How can I say this? Like, what am I thinking of first? I just find it really weird that... Like, for the entire time that, like, we did, like, our Twitch collabs and stuff like that, you know, she had no problem with me and blah 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 like whatever and very clearly this is what's happening when you know she collabs with like rich lux and i don't know who else she collabed like i really only see her within our space collabing with rich please correct me if there's you know please if there's someone else that she collabs with in the space please let me know um so obviously there's there's no problem until you say something however I felt like I was still weirdly protecting her whenever I made that video about, like, let's talk about her, where I was like, I just don't endorse it. Like, I just need to take a step away from even, like, engaging with anything to do with her. It's crazy that you can be cut off with just that. But again, there's nothing me, you, or anyone can do. Like, we we can't, you can't change someone's mind. You can't force someone to get help. You know, you can't. Yeah, Rich and Jeffrey, I guess. People are just saying Rich and Jeffrey. People are just saying Rich and Jeffrey. So anyway, that is the update. You know, she got her like very long restrictions, long bans on these social medias. And she's now speaking up about it. Um, yeah, let me know your opinion down below and we'll talk about it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right. Hey, everyone. How are we all doing? Her mom doesn't count. <laughs> her mom doesn't count. Um, all right. How are we doing, my little, my little sweet muckers? What was she apologizing for? I don't even fucking know at this stage. I was barely giving us anything. Fuck me. Um, all right. We are going to do the Jojo Siwa thing right now. I'm so glad I fixed the mic levels. Do I like Madison Beer? Um, I like her new song. I, I, I wanna feel, 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 wanna da, 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 wanna be, boo, bop. I like that one. All right, let me load up the JoJo thing. Wow, this website has a lot of ads. All right, this is gonna be our final topic of the night. And the only reason for that is because I have one more day before I need to go back to Brighton and I am not ready for the move. <laughs> so it's gonna be our final topic of the night. Let's do it. Um, okay, wait. These two... And then I want to pull up her recent social media posts. I, I, I want to feel, feel, feel. What is this emoji? Or what is this gif? Is that Taylor Swift's face? <laughs> that was in relation to someone saying you always go live whenever I'm at work. Um... By the way, a lot of people have been saying, and I agree with it, that Ariana looks better with her blonde hair now. You know what it is? She dyed her eyebrows brown. I don't think the the pale eyebrows looked awful on her. Why did I just type in Brighton? Oh, I was meant to type in Jojo Siwa. Does she have me blocked? Is she on Twitter? Does Jojo Siwa have a Twitter? I don't think she does. Jojo Siwa... Twitter. Clever girl if she doesn't. Jojo Siwa. I assume she's not on Twitter. Because she hasn't blocked me, but I just don't think she's on Twitter. Is she on Twitter? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Have I been blocked? Does she have Twitter? Is it like, she's not. See? People love me. They don't block me. <laughs> All right. So I guess I've got to go on her fucking Instagram to find that post then. Fuck's sake. Oh, also, 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 I forgot to do this. I'll do it right now. Um, For those who want to get accepted onto the um, Finsta, I'm going to accept more people after this. There's already um, a couple people I need to accept on there, um, but I'm going to do the rest of them whenever I get off. I've pinned it. If you want to go over, it's our little Finsta. Um, once I finish, I will um, go and accept. So enjoy. Enjoy. All right. She's not on there, so I'll just load up her Twitter or her Instagram. Jojo. Siwa. It's Jojo Siwa. God, she's so annoying. She's not on Twitter. Maybe she's blocked you too, mom. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Because we have like a couple Jojo Siwa things to get to. Uh, uh, I want to feel, feel, feel. Oh, you got that song stuck in my head now. All right, let's get into it. Final topic of the night, bitches. Final topic of the night, bitches. Sip of water. All right. Finsta is like a private Instagram. All right. Thank you, mommy, for being moderator. You will be able to rest very soon. All right. <clears throat> Why did I just do that? <clears throat> Hi, muckers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of an overall thing on JoJo Siwa because what is going on with JoJo Siwa? So we are aware that recently we covered that the group of kids that she set up to be pop stars, the XOMG, I think that's literally their name, XOMG, um, spoke up. A couple of the members were leaving and a couple members and their parents spoke up specifically to like Rolling Stones and said, you know, about the abusive work environment and the overworking of these kids that Jojo and her mother, Jess Lynn, put these kids through. And it was really just dis disgusting and really disturbing. And I've made... Two videos on that. One as a rundown of the Rolling Stones article. And then number two is an Instagram live of one of the children, um, something Sanderson, Lee, Leah Sanderson, I think, and her mother talking about Jojo and Jessalyn. But basically Jojo and her mother were screaming at these kids. They were depriving them of school time, which is a necessary thing. Like they need to go to school whenever they're working a certain amount of hours. Um, they were constantly being put down, pitted against each other. Things were dangled over their head. Jojo Siwa and Jessalyn put these kids in a very, very, very awful um, environment. So I have a couple things about Jojo Siwa that I want to get to because she's in the headline for a couple of things. Number one, starting off quite easy, and then we're going to level up, level up. The last ones, the, the worst one, this one, then the next one, then the next one. First of all, as we speak, Jojo Siwa is currently rebranding. She has done a post that says the following content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers, may contain sexual themes, violence, strong language, traumatic scenarios, and flashing lights. So obviously she, and clearly we've new amazing, why have my friends like this? Clearly I need to do some deep thinking about who I'm befriending. Um, so obviously she's rebranding as kind of like a Miley Cyrus, you know, era. What even is this video? Is it flashing or something? content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers may contain sexual themes violence strong language dramatic scenarios and flashing lights viewer discretion is advised but does anyone give a fuck no shade but like the miley cyrus rebrand of 2013 was genius jojo c was so unlikable anyways so that's currently happening. Boring. On to the next one. So Jojo Siwa is in the headlines right now because there was a Dance Moms reunion. And a couple of the members, most probably the most famous ones, I think like Maddie, we'll get to it, didn't show up to it. And it was basically this Lifetime reunion show, the show on Lifetime, uh, where a bunch of the members and their mothers came back and they kind of, kind of like the Real Housewives of reunion with Andy Cohen where they sit around and they talk about it. And Jojo Siwa is facing backlash because she basically shit-talked the members that didn't show up. And basically 
put herself on a on a high standpoint and put down the other members like Maddie that didn't show up and really spoke bad about them. And a lot of people are saying how Dance Moms, if you've watched it, were childhood trauma. Like, Abby Lee Miller put these children through fucking hell, Jojo Siwa included. So for Jojo Siwa to sit down and say that because some of these people who've then grown up don't want to go back and revisit childhood trauma, trauma, generational trauma, don't want to go back and revisit that, that they're somehow beneath her and that she showed up to it, right? Well, here's the thing. Jojo Siwa is being accused of being an Abby Lee Miller herself. She's being accused of doing it with XOMG Pop. So maybe the other fucking members haven't just re repeated the, the cycle of what happened to them. And people are saying she's not even an OG Dams Moms girl. Well, I didn't even watch this fucking show. I had a life. No, I just I just find her very annoying. Um, Someone said it's giving Johnny on H3. Oh, don't give me. Don't give me. So in recent years, Dance Moms... And then we have another topic after this. In recent years, Dance Moms has gained even more popularity than when it aired in 2011 to 2009 or 2019. On Lifetime, a reunion only made sense considering the drama of the reality series, mostly stemming from dance teacher and choreographer Abby Lee Miller. However, a comment by Jojo Siwa has stirred up a lot of drama on its own. So the official trailer dropped and it gathers some of the old members um, who are in the same room again, all together for the first time in 10 years. We have Chloe, Brooke, Paige, Kendall, and Kalani. And their moms were all featured in the reunion in addition to Jojo Siwa. Noticeably absent, however, were sisters Maddie and Mackenzie, who and Nia, who I'm pretty sure were the favorites. I'm pretty sure they were the favorites. I know my friends who watch Dance Moms loved Nia and Maddie, or maybe it was Mackenzie. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like these three were the ones that people actually liked. And these three have also been the ones that have spoken up about what they went through when they were on the show. And by the way, childhood trauma is something that a lot of these kids faced, even the ones sitting down, because they were put on this pedestal and they were pinned against each other and they went through so much and physically exhausted and mentally exhausted and emotionally exhausted for the sake of a reality TV show. And a lot of them have grown up and realized that, or a lot of them have grown up and worked past that. And so for one of the members to sit down and, and talk fucking bad about the other members for not showing up is really just this hierarchy is like, get off your high horse. But then it makes sense when you think about it because of what Jojo is doing to younger kids nowadays by overworking them and her mother. Like this, Jojo is pr trying to perfect the Abby Lee Miller, you know, formula and her mother Jess Lynn has nothing to do since you know the babies aren't in the house anymore and nobody's there to care for her so you know she's got to terrorize some more kids they're awful people so them not being here this is a quote from her them not being here is kind of like let me erase my past and pretend it didn't happen shove it down the drain see what said at one point when it's like that's who you actually are like that's who wait that's why you are who you are today so she made this point where she said these people that didn't show up, Maddie, McKinsey, and Nia, are trying to pretend things didn't happen, which the Dance Moms audience are being like, yeah, because when you're going through childhood abuse, normally you try to, you know, either work past it or forget it. And then JoJo being like, and we're all here because we were a part of that show and we're all here. That's why you are who you are today. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you're sitting here and literally victim blaming these people in their adulting life because they don't want to have to sit down and watch videos of them being screamed at as children. And also, yeah, Jojo does hang out with um, Abby all the time. She makes her little fucking TikToks with her. So anyway, a lot of people online have been saying, you know, God forbid that Nia, Maddie, and McKinsey just want to protect their peace and they don't want to have to go about this. And a lot of people have been saying that they just are absolutely over JoJo. Now, that was the second thing that's currently going on. The third thing has been something I've wanted to talk about for quite some time, but I didn't want to dedicate an entire video to it. So this is a perfect way for me to talk about it. Can we talk about JoJo Siwa faking being pregnant on social media? I have waited for so long to talk about this, but again, was waiting for the moment in which I could just throw it at the end of a video because I didn't want to dedicate an entire video to it. Can we talk about this? That this was something that happened on social media? Jojo Siwa outraging fans on social media by repeatedly pretending to be pregnant. People saying that it was disrespectful and insensitive and she was really committing to the bit. I've waited for so long to talk about this, so we're going to talk about it. So the 19-year-old social media star, well, she's, I think, 20 now, I think. 
think we're the same age. Is she 20 or 21? One of the same. 20, I think. I'm 21. So I can come for an it's equal playing field. He claimed um, that Nickelodeon recently pearly reacted to her coming out, has left her followers scratching their heads after sharing multiple photos and videos throughout the months of March that suggested that she was pregnant. Keep in mind, she is a child audience and she's aware of this, which is why she's now doing this post being like, fear of discretion advised. Um, all right, okay. So several fans find the ongoing series of posts extremely disrespectful and insensitive, though JoJo doesn't seem to appear to have responded to any of the backlash. Now, the reason that JoJo Siwa did this, this, can't believe it. This is just one of them. The reason that she did this was because she, I only assume, got a deal with Spot or Snapchat. And on Snapchat, you know when you go on Snapchat? Like, I'm sure if I go on right now, I'll fucking see them. They're so fucking annoying. Like, literally the death of Snapchat. So fucking irritating. Like, I see fucking David Dobrik's Snapchat before I see my own fucking friends. Ugh, it pisses me off so bad. So anyway, whenever you go on Snap... Do I still have the app? I do. When you have Snapchat and you scroll over and you see your friends at the top, right here you see... Who am I seeing? Sky Jackson. Sneeko. Mm, who the fuck are these people? A bunch of people I don't fucking know. Toddy Smith, there's one we know. And when you click on it, it's literally just Toddy Smith Snapchats with, conveniently, scroll, 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 and add every two fucking Snapchats. Um, David Dobrik, there he is. Ah. So anyway, these people, creators, get paid to go on Snapchat and become a creator. So when you're swiping through them, you get an ad every couple ones, and they get a lot of money. The thing is... For these creators, they need their last post of the day to be a clickbait one so that the, the thumbnail is of that Snapchat. So then when you click on it, you have to go through the entire day to get to that clickbait. So what did Jojo Siwa decide to do to her child audience? Pretend she was pregnant. What did she decide to do? Commit to the bit for a very long time. Just very weird. Also, there's a video of her recently. I wonder if I could quickly find it. I wonder if I can find this where she's like, I'm looking for a partner who's ready to have a baby right now. Jojo Siwa. Baby. I wonder if I could find this easily. It would be amazing if I could. Also. I got a question. If you could have one heaven phone call. This is a random heaven phone call, okay? Nothing, nothing too serious. If it was serious, I'd call grandma, grandpa, uncle I never got to meet. Someone like that. Unserious heaven phone call. Who are you calling? Personally? I'm calling the people in the Titanic submarine. The situation, the submersible, that whole thing. I'm calling them. My friend said she would call John Bonnet Ramsey. I feel like that's a pretty good one. Who, who are you calling? I got a question. This wasn't the video I wanted to show you, but it's definitely a very interesting one to show you. Trying to find this video. It was her talking about Tama. I don't think I'm going to find it. Um, she was sitting down and she was like, I'm just looking for, I'm, I'm dating with uh, the looks of a, a someone who will want to have a baby very, very, very soon or something like that. Mm, can't find it. You're just going to have to believe me. Wait, Jojo Siwa partner. I'm going to do one more search because this video is kind of... She's tattooed baby names on her. <sighs> of course she has. <laughs> all right. Mm, can't find it, everyone. Devastating news. I know you're all fucking absolutely devastated. So anyway, this was her way of doing it. She pretended to be pregnant. Um, people were saying um, bad taste. Jojo Siwa, you know, been doing all these different poses, right? Um, doesn't anyone else think it's extremely disrespectful and insensitive that Jojo Siwa is continuing to be, like, pretending to be pregnant? She also added that being gay... Wait, hold on. Let me get to this first. Not having it. <laughs> That's all it says. She also added that being gay also meant that adoption was more of a viable solution for her in the future. Jojo jokingly um, started posting pregnancy posts at um, the start of this month, though several fans noted that she had apparently been single since December when she broke up with blah, 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 blah. We don't give a shit. So she had been posting these things, hands over her stomach, can't believe it. She then followed it up with a photo of her going shopping for baby clothes with the caption, it's time to go baby clothes shopping for some reason. Um, fans obviously shocked by the photos, finding it really weird. Um, a lot of people actually believe that she was pregnant. Like, they actually believe that she was pregnant. Like, this went on for a very, very, very long time. A lot of people made videos about it. Um, JoJo, in her response, ended up saying, um, just started laughing. 
she ended up posting this one, the father of my baby. Like, like this went on for a very long time. The caption of this from the Daily Mail is literally awkward. In a Snapchat video posted, the reality star enlisted her friend. Um, he laid his hands on her midriff. Oh, I don't like that word. You know that everyone thinks I'm the dad. He, she then went on again to post the father of my baby. Jojo continues to post baby clothes and supplies. She later returned to Snap to say that she wanted to treat any of her fans who were expecting by sending it to them. She also shut down the pregnancy rumors then for good um, in a video when she opened up about how her sexuality affects the prospect of her having children, which, uh, by the way, just using it as an excuse, like, she did all this for attention, she got backlash, and then she was like, but I'm gay! Okay. Like, she was literally just, she did all this, got the money, got the attention, got the clicks, weirdly did this to a child audience, and then was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gay. It was obviously a joke. Like, this went on for so long. This went on for so fucking long. It was holding her, like, what the fuck? She had story times. <sighs> People saying, Jojo Siwa pretending she's pregnant. It's really weird. Pregnancy isn't a joke. If I see Jojo Siwa pretending to be pregnant on Snapchat one more time, I'm going to scream. Am I the only one that finds it weird? She's pretending to be, like, pregnant full time. Like, this one says, me skipping three Jojo Siwa story to see if she's actually pregnant. It's that meme from Toy Story where he's going like this. I just, I, I don't understand what the rebrand of Jojo Siwa is. I think it's very weird. I think specifically knowing that it's a child audience is even creepier. Um, knowing that she was putting kids through the XOMG pop group through hell, lost a lot of respect for her. I just don't think that she's very good with her platform. It's just very odd. Like, there's so many things that are very, very, very odd about what she decides to do. There's just very, very, very odd decisions that are just attention-seeking and really just bizarre. Anyway, I wanted to give you a rundown on JoJo Siwa recently. It's fucking weird. I'll talk to you in my next one. Goodbye. If there's one thing I am, it, it's going to call out... Madonna just posted... Oh. Okay. Work, I guess. All right. Oh, wait. She just she hashtag Killian Murphy. I'm so happy I got to meet my favorite actor. Hashtag Killian Murphy. Up the Irish. I love that she's holding a sign that says "Leave me alone. I'm tired." Up the Irish. Wow. Killian Murphy's eyes are terrifying. All right, everyone. Um, by the way, uh, before I go, pinned down below, please go over if you want and request to follow the Finsta. I'm going to accept people right after this. Um, I will see you very, very, very soon. I am going to go pack up my apartment. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. And...